If you are easily offended by nudity, then please shut your video off now. This is a naughty journal spread and I decided to do it in my following journal because, you know, naughty can go any which way. Um, this is just a background I'm slapping in last minute. I put a couple of other ones in here for this event, this occasion. And uh, so I just sped this part up so that we can all take a moment to enjoy the gluage that is happening. And then things are going to get mighty interesting. So I elected to start you off slow, you know, because it's about to get pretty wild. Okay, it is about to get pretty nuts. And uh, I have all my parts spread out there. And now I have slowed it down. I just sped up the, you know, background gluing. And we are going to start with this naked man right here. Uh, no, you cannot see any parts or any, you know, uh, private areas that are not supposed to be viewed by the public. But you can see that he is, in fact, in the nude. And he is, in fact, a dude. He is a dude in the nude. And we are going to uh, <clears throat> dress him up. You know, you got to dress him up a little. I got this idea from Shannon Green. So if you need to pick a bone with anybody, please refer to uh, Shannon Green. She's the one who said, ooh, I really wonder what's in that men's health magazine you know, because I was going to do a one magazine challenge with the men's health until I got to the part of the nudity. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I canceled that whole video. I was like, you know, 20 minutes in. And then I went with um, an HGTV or something. So this is, these are the pictures that were in that magazine. And I explained that in the video and Shannon comments and she goes, I really wonder what was in there. So we are using the images that were in there. Now they were double sided and it was tough. Uh, it was a tough choice on some of them, but, uh, in the end, I think that I went with the right naked people for this occasion. And I had some nice heads fussy cut and I decided to give the man a nice little flower coverage. And the black and white really accentuates the body <laughs> and they're all like that they are all in a black and white uh, tone so it's pretty something it is pretty wild and I'm going through my other people there and trying to figure out who to use next and uh, I end up looking through some of my backgrounds just in case there was something I needed to do differently or change and I also wanted to look through some of my little doodads that I haven't used much of this year you know I kind of just stuck to paper and I tend to do that I collect a bunch of really cool stuff but I don't use it and I really need to start you know using the other things that I collect specifically for these purposes. Now the googly eyes, I have a ton of them, but I do not use them all the time. And the reason for that is because then when you flip the page, it is very difficult to uh, glue over that googly eye, you know, on the page below it. So I tend to, I've been tending to steer clear of googly eyes as much as I love them. I might go in uh, <clears throat> to a section when it is over, you know, when I'm, when I'm done with a part of a, of a glue book or a journal and do it afterwards, but not while I'm in the process of working in that book. Um, I wanted to cover up the text that was over there. So I decided to, um, give the guy some friends instead of the flower. And instead now he has an orange jack-o'-lantern as his undergarments. And it's been a few days since I made this video. Can you believe that I already forgot all the things that I've done <coughs> in this video? So, yeah. Go me. Go me. But I've been looking for a place to use these fruit, fruit o' lanterns. I've had them for 
probably four years now kicking around in my Halloween stuff. So it is nice to find them a very appropriate home for their weirdness and to that man's weirdness. And this guy is great. And he already had like the whole pose down and we, you know, I envisioned what I was going to do with him and uh, it worked out lovely because I have a hard time picturing how something is going to come out. I don't know if, I don't know if a lot of people are that way, but I really do. And it really bothers me because, you know, for decorating purposes in my home or for spreads in my glue book, I really can't envision it until I'm actually working on it. So that's why my house isn't decorated in case anybody is wondering. I don't have a whole lot of, uh, you know, decoration pieces in my house because I just have a hard time, you know, envisioning or imagining what I want in my home. Uh, these are fuzzy hats. I found an entire page. I don't know which, uh, which magazine it must've been Vogue or Harper's Bazaar or something where, um, they had a whole bunch of fuzzy hats. So I fussy cut all those because I said, you really cannot go wrong with fuzzy hats on naked dudes. I mean, you know, pimps. Look at that guy with the purple hat. See that? Look at that. Um, so I am definitely happy with how these came out. These were, this was a lot of fun. Thank you, Shannon, for suggesting this. <laughs> You know, I was a little hesitant. I did not know how the world would react, but hey, you know what? It's my video on my channel, and if you don't like it, then go home. Just go home, okay? Just go home. I don't often do stuff like this. I don't think I've ever done anything crazy, so here I am doing a crazy video at a crazy time in humanity, and, you know, I hope that you can get a laugh out of the video that I am making. This man, I really like how serious his face was and I really wanted to do something crazy like have that serious face and then put a lampshade on his head or something and I was thinking of that as I was going through my images but I couldn't find the right thing for his head. Um, you know, I don't normally plan my spreads out this far, so it was definitely, um, it was definitely fun to have a plan, first of all, but it was also fun to have all my stuff cut out here and kind of play with it before I got to, <clears throat> before I actually glued it down. So I don't know, I might do that a little bit more. I might take, you know, I know a lot of people do that before they make videos, they take their stuff out that they are going to use for the gluing and um, they were going to you know the stuff they're going to use for the gluing and they put it aside for the video that they're making and I might do that once in a while but I almost like the um, you know the idea of winging it which is what I do most of my time but uh, I thought this would be I thought this craziness would be a fun way to end this <laughs> And this for the year. I'm going to use this book next year also. Um, the first idea I had with these actually was to take all those beautiful fall backgrounds and do that. But I didn't really have many that I wanted to do that with. I have a couple of them that I want to keep the pictures of for the most part. Um, in the end, I do a little bit of, you know, uh, just excess gluing just to you know, throw some things down. I, I took the time to fussy cut all that stuff out this year, so I might as well use it. So I put a few more things down after these lovely gentlemen, <coughs> gentlemen type creatures. Um, and this guy was like the first guy that I saw in the magazine. I was like, this guy is definitely, uh, he is definitely going in there. We are definitely going to have fun with him. And, uh, so in he went. And he gets this Elvis, you know, this funky Elvis head, which is just very fitting for the marching, you know, naked march that he's doing. But yeah, I, I usually fill an entire journal up for 
that holiday. But I don't, you know, now that like I do mom stuff, I really don't have time for that. I mean, I have Girl Scouts and I have, you know, school things and it was just pretty, pretty nuts. So, um, I, I like to, I like to make all of the guys like, you know, that put these delicate little flowers on everybody, you know, they're, they're delicate flowers. And I, I have this, I have this group of gentlemen and I just love their energy in this whole thing, you know, cause you don't see older men doing things like this. So I wonder what this magazine did to convince these guys to, to do this. Cause you know, I, I don't know many men that would do that to begin with, let alone men from this generation. So, you know, I thought that was definitely, definitely something interesting. And that little head there, I don't use it, but it ended up on my floor and it scared the crap out of me because I saw it one day in the dark and I said, oh my goodness, look at that little creepy face <laughs> on my floor. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Honestly, doing this whole thing was a lot of fun and I think it's because it's just so out there. It is not something that I ever, you know, I ever imagined that girl's face is just so perfect. She is so serious, such a serious face. It needs to be, you know, admired in the form of nudity. <laughs> this channel is not for children, just to let y'all know. Uh, so I suggest you keep your kids out of here. If you've, if they've already seen it this far, then they probably need, you know, some psychological evaluation, uh, to some degree. Although I'm sure this isn't the worst thing they've ever seen, you know, but, uh, yeah, I really, I wanted to use up that flower cause it was still gluey and I don't care what anyone says, that stuff stays tacky on there. If you peel up an image, it is staying tacky. <clears throat> it is just a mess unless you use it. You know, it would have been hard to put that back someplace. And, uh, you know, another fuzzy hat, which I just, I loved the fuzzy hats. I, I fussy cut as much of them as I could. I think there were nine or 10, but a couple of them were on these neat little hat stands that look like bodies. So I left those ones, but these ones weren't. And so I cut them out and I don't know where fuzzy hats fashion came from. I don't know what year that magazine was from. Uh, it was from the last five or six years, but I don't know which year and I have yet to see anybody wear hats like that. So I'm kind of happy that I, I don't know a lot of people that are wearing hats in that fashion. And this woman, I, I just liked her looking at these guys. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? She's, she's gotta, she has gotta go. She has gotta go there. And again, next year I might do something a little different. You know, I might, uh, add something to that you know who knows who knows and this girl is running from that creepy mummified thing remember remember when they found that body a few years back that mummified perfectly preserved you know human body this woman came from a totally different magazine I've had her for quite some time I'm you know unsure of where her place was in my life and now I clearly understand that it is in this naughty spread. She just belongs there. It's just where she needs to be. She called out to me and she said, you got to put me in with these naked people. I said, oh, well, you know, the picture has spoken. The piece has spoken. <clears throat> and I saw that flower and knew that that's where that flower was going. I knew that from the second I saw those little butt cheeks. I'm like, yep, yeah, she is getting a flower butt. And she's running from that creepy mummified thing with the creepy looking hair. Oof. Creepy. And I don't know. Did I give her a hat? Did I give him a hat? Did I give anyone a hat? The world may never know. I kind of wish the hats were a better size for most of the heads that I used. But they were not. So, you know, you can't win them all. And, in you know, towards the end of this... 
uh, I am I do go in and just see that's one of those <coughs> body looking things I do go in and I date I just put 22 so I know what year to be honest um, unless it's the full journal I haven't actually dated any of my glue book spreads or pages and I kind of regret that now uh, I know at the time I said hey you know what I really don't need to you know I don't need to date this stuff but now that I've been doing this for a number of years I kind of wish I did so that I can have collections like even my first glue books and altered books and stuff I I don't have them dated and I can just tell you a ballpark of when I created them but even the ballpark is going to be within you know a two or three year span uh you know mid 2000s is when I started getting into altered books and gluing things uh you know I started collecting magazine images when I was a little a little kid so I had a collection of them I used to keep them in a Christmas uh photo box you know those photo boxes well this one was Christmas themed um you it might make an appearance it might have made an appearance in one of my very early videos I don't actually I don't remember if I ever introduced you guys to that box but that was in my that was in my life for a long time holding a lot of magazine cutouts words and pictures so <clears throat> you know uh, so I wanted to use up some of these hats and I did go around and just uh, randomly jazz up some of these lovely characters that we have in this in this book and I think they're happy with it I think they enjoy looking just a little bit prettier these two people man are they aliens or what I mean they are just total aliens so you know I did get, I did get to use some of those hats I'm really happy with this book I really like the cover Dollar Tree uh, really impressed me this year with the quality of, of things that they had you know the tablecloth that I used those little wooden letters um, I mean word things you know those were really cool and I have a whole bunch of them now some of them I might uh, gift in happy mail because uh, they're not really my style but for the most part um, for the most part I do like the little wooden words and then I just painted them with a you know metallic craft paint Hobby Lobby special you know it wasn't anything fancy so they took the paint really well I did a couple of coats uh, maybe two or three coats on them which is just my the way I do it anyway but yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed and I noticed that I was out of frame there so that one I got to finish I only put a pumpkin on one girl's head I got I got to figure out a way to really you know <clears throat> really jazz those guys up a little they look way too happy for a Halloween following journal just way too much happiness and I love that guy I got to find something to go with him those are my uh, trunk or treats from this year that I got from the school that you gotta you gotta include those in and that spider is just boom awesome he really just belongs and that guy with the hair we, we gotta find a we gotta find something else to go with him too maybe we'll just paint it and that quote is awesome from one of those books that I showed you I did a flip through of the books that I found my pumpkin spread next year maybe I'll do other things you know like I was talking about the spider or the skeletons I might do some of those pages next year because I know that I have enough and I have even more now because I've added to my extensive collection like I do every year and like I'm sure you do every time you see something or go, start going through your your themed stuff you end up finding more like Christmas stuff and Halloween stuff and I'm going to be uh, going through my Christmas stuff here soon and I know that I'm gonna buy more I just know myself I've got to just accept that fact but yeah those things I'm like really using sp using sparingly because I have not seen them since they were in Dollar Tree uh, three or four years ago and I really like to use them 
I really like the way they look. Um, you know, they're a pain to peel. As you can see, I'm really enjoying the peeling of this. Uh, I'm sure that at this point I was swearing under my breath at the stupidness of the adhesive on those stupid things. Those stupid things that I love ever so much. So, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun working on these. And uh, I just wanted to cover those words. That's right. That's right. I had words up there I wanted to cover. Um, but yeah, I love those things. And I hope that they show up again. I still have quite a few, you know, I realized that I went off the paper and I'm like, oh, well, it's just going to be what it is. <laughs> Maybe I'll trim it off someday, but for now it's just what it is. And then it'll, something will stick to it. And next year I'll be peeling something off of it. It's just going to be the way. Uh, so I have some, you know, jumping off points to start with next year. Some napkins and some pictures and that guy with the frog. Love that little frog, dude. Um, so it'll be, you know, it'll be fun. We'll have a, we'll have a lot more fun with this next year. And I love that picture. I don't want to do much more to that. If it's anything, it would just be itty bitty things because I just love that. And I like how this one came out. Our first real, you know, spread and, uh. <clears throat> this one here with our alien people you know and I find it funny because I call this stuff like my Halloween stuff but I collage like this anyway so pretty much everything I do is creepy and Halloween -y, you know I want to cover up those words you know reverse collage <laughs> reverse collage I'm doing reverse collage backwards here uh, I should have covered that up before I glued the little slingshot dude down, but hey, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Who the hell would have known? That guy's in a bathtub full of snakes. We got to use him next year, y'all. Remind me. Um, so yeah, that's my backwards reverse collage. My reverse reverse collage. I'm trying to figure out how I can cover up those words. And nothing is better than a random creepy eyeball in the corner of a page. So that's what we go with. Creepy eyeball dude with weird looking eyelashes too. What creepy little stringy eyelashes that thing's got. I really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and I hope that you enjoyed working on this with me this year. Um, if there is something you would like to see different or something you'd like to see me do, please feel free to reach out. I will be starting my Christmas book shortly, maybe even before Thanksgiving, so be ready for that. Um, I can't wait to start it with y'all, and I hope you have a great day. Ta-ta for now.